Hey guys, so you asked to see inside our van and um, here we go. The inside of our van starts at the outside of our van because we have our full annex up. So we have a lot of our life hanging around in here at the moment. I'm going to give you a bit of a grand tour. So stay tuned. I'm going to flick the screen around the other way so you get a bit of a better look. Okay, so this is our Waco um, double fridge. So the right hand side can also be used as a freezer if we like. That does sit in the truck when we travel, but when we're parked up, it comes out because, um, you know, love food. Here we go, full, full, as always. This is our little step ladder that Sean's put a plank of wood across the bottom to store all our shoes at. And at the top, we have lots of handy little things that we access during the day. Um, you know, body wash, fly spray, insect repellent, um, stubby holders, because it's always a beer o'clock at some stage, kids' bike helmets, broom, mop, nice and handy. Um, going across to here, we've got storage baskets. So the green one is my dirty washing basket, because I refuse to have dirty washing inside the house. And the blue one's obviously the washing basket for when I go out to the line. Little table set up, Thermomix, toaster sandwich maker, toaster, bought all those from home. We are traveling for a while, so why not have our luxuries? And then we have a table set up, which we'll eat at if um, it's bad with weather, mosquitoes, flies, we can bring the doors down, have a good spray. I think you've got some kids' toys hanging around there. And then just underneath here, we've also got a box of toys for the kids. So this is things that they can access throughout the day and play with. And that then goes back into the truck. So here we are now inside our van. We've had a lot of Facebook requests asking to see what's inside our van and how it's set up and what it looks like. So here we go, I'm gonna give you the tour. I'm gonna to do a little whiz around this way. So that's our bed. We have a queen size bed. That's actually a full queen mattress which came in the van. Um, it doesn't extend with the bed. It does mean it makes it a bit harder for us to get around the outside of the bed. Um, will I change it? Probably, I just need time to go shopping for a new mattress and find one that's big enough for both Sean and I, or in Sean's home. Uh, going into our dining area, little dinette, um, which is fantastic. Sits the four of us quite easy if we need to eat inside because of bad weather or flies. Uh, Sirocco fans, fantastic. Uh, Dometic fridge freezer, so which is pretty awesome. Um, it's not the only fridge we have we may have another couple others um freezer ice creams icy poles always must going into the back area so this is our little ensuite i'm just going to flick the screen around for you guys to see it the other way so give me two seconds so here we go this is our bathroom combined toilet shower area um believe it or not this is my Laundry, cupboards, I have one, I have two. And that is everything we would normally store in our laundry, condensed down to two small cupboards. Again, that's just my personal toiletry effects in there. Not very much. Um, toilet system with a cassette at the back. Easy, simple to change, works great. Shower recess, uh, you know, big enough for one person to shower. We don't use it a great deal, but it works fine when we have to. Um, inside here, one of my favorite little toys. Have a look at her. She's a two and a half kilo washing machine. Pretty nifty. I do use it when we just have um, a small load to do and the other van is other, sorry, machines um, in the truck. Kids sleeping area, we've gone for double bunks. We have two children, that's all we needed. Um, great room space, plenty of area for them to actually sleep and sort of sit up and not feel so claustrophobic, which is great. Uh, we did go and put in the Sirocco fans into both bunks uh, to give them that airflow because their boys get very, very hot. They've also got a backpack at each of the end of the bed, which has their iPad and iPhone and just a few things, their Kindle and that. Um, that we allow them to take in the truck if it's long travels or to have some quiet time in the van they can come and sit in here um my linen cupboard guys that's all i really have at the moment which is not much considering i just have enough to own a whole adair shop uh this is my favorite basket in the house it's got lots of smelly stuff in it candles room spray i refuse to let my van smell like boys um each of our kids well they only got one drawer each of clothing which works absolutely fine because they're boys and all they do is just wear the same clothes on the top of the pile because I wash every day, if not three times a day. Um, underneath 
the bottom bunk we've actually got some storage I'll just see if I can flip this up as you can see underneath we've got quite a lot of storage space in there which is great so I store rugs for winter we haven't actually used them yet I uh, don't know if we will but they're there anyway uh, good clothes for the boys so they've actually got three sets of really nice clothes if we go out and I want them to look good um, and a little bit extra spare linen just in case there's an accident at night or someone's not well going into kitchen here it is that is my kitchen I know it's amazing what you can fit oh sorry two more cupboards up there amazing what you can fit when you don't need everything and you know we've still got you know plenty of nice cutlery and utensils you know I've still managed to pack all my sauces that I like at the back and a one container of just baking supplies you know because I do do love to cook like love 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 to cook um, you know cupboards down here with a few bits and pieces I just keep when we're parked up I just keep the cereal out for the kids because self-serve bread they can make a sandwich they don't have to ask me to do it which is great they can help themselves swing top tidy bin just empty it twice a day. I can't stand rubbish in the house anyway. And I just keep a few things on the bench, but obviously when we travel, it gets put away. Same thing, um, kettle gets put away when we're finished too. So one of the most common questions people ask on my Facebook pages is oven or no oven in a van. And I was adamant, dead adamant, that I had to have an oven. Like it was just a non-negotiable. Sean was sending me photos of vans without an oven. I was shooting down in flames. I was adamant I had to have an oven. We have an oven. I haven't used it. I haven't used it in five weeks. Am I going to use it? Probably not. Um, because I've realised that our baby Weber Q can do every single thing. Also, we have a Coleman double uh, gas burner and a flat plate barbecue and a Thermomix and a microwave, and a slow cooker, and a toasted sandwich maker, and a toaster. I think that's everything. So, um, maybe I will use it one day, but now I am probably am regretting that it's taking up some space, purely because I have everything else outside, and I don't like the smell of um, savoury food inside the van so I could probably bake a cake or some bread in the van and I'd be okay but there's no way I would cook a roast meal in my van or anything fried um, we have just try and flip this lid there is four burners underneath here um, I did use the burners when we were I think it was Christmas sorry a bit of bright light there Christmas time I quickly made some gravy because uh, the other cooktop wasn't set up outside and I used the Weber to cook a roast meal. So I quickly did some gravy there. But again, to be honest, I probably wouldn't use it too much anyway. Because uh, if I wanted to, I could just boil uh, my little stainless steel kettle on the gas cooker outside if I need to make a cuppa and we don't have any mains power. So oven or no oven, it's a big debate, personal decision. Um, go what's right for you. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'll let you know if I use mine. Stay tuned. So I've just finished my morning workout, but the last part of our video for our inside our van is actually showing you where we cook and where we sit when we're just sitting outside the van and hanging out. But another little sneaky thing I also have is another pantry. If you can see it, it's a spot in the van that I've accosted for extra food because uh, you can not always have enough food like we just love food anyway I'm gonna flick the screen and I'm gonna show you what we have outside our van okay so here we have our outdoor cooking station so we've got a flat plate barbecue a Coleman double burner hyper flame cooktop plus a baby barbecue so these are my three main uh, cooking apparatuses and I love all of them we always put up a quick shade this is a three by three meter wanderer anti pool fantastic I've already got my Australia Day bunting up to celebrate for the kids a couple of little camp chairs and then down the back is where Coco and Arrow sleep at night time so they're on their outdoor connection fold away dog beds with their water bucket um, in the morning as it starts to get a little bit warmer they'll venture out to here and be tied up sort of here on the front of the mat and then during the day 
they'll morph over here and sit outside and play with the wading pool and the sprinkler that we've got going. So this is us, this is our setup, works great for us. Hope you like it. So I've come inside the annex now to make a cuppa. I've finished my workout and I'm just about to head up and watch the kids at their tennis coaching. And I found this. My little buddies hiding out in the annex. They came for my last 1K run with me and I think they're gonna be pretty dusted for the rest of the day. So when we are parked up long durations, we do have our annex up. If it's just short stops, one, two, three nights, we don't put the full annex up. So then Coco and Ari would normally sleep underneath here, tied to the wheels, um, sleeping underneath the kids' bunks. So this is a familiar place for them to be. So I can't get too angry for them to wanting to come back in, but we just do monitor it. We don't want them in here all the time. They are dogs, dogs do smell, even though mine got bath yesterday, so they don't smell. Um, I'll let them stay in here for another couple more minutes and then I'll turf them back outside. Mm -hmm.